Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, why do I have the lab coat on today? Well, it's myth busting time. Okay, not so much a myth really, because this comes from a real problem that I saw on the EEV blog forum. Now, it started, uh, one of the EEV blog members, uh, Twistex, he actually reported that his Fluke 87.5 multimeter started playing up um, when it was near his uh, wireless router. And, well, okay, you know, nothing unusual there, you know, meters and all sorts of equipment are susceptible to electromagnetic Interference. In fact, the Fluke 87.5 is uh, rated to keep its accuracy uh, up to around uh, 3 volts per meter. Now, I'm not sure what a wireless router actually puts out. I haven't done my research on this, but, you know, you can expect, okay, it plays up. But another user, Kyriakos, he actually uh, decided to get his mobile phone, got his mobile phone, and he put it next to his Fluke 87.5, and it killed it. It bricked it. So, yeah, I thought I'd sacrifice my 87.5 and try it out, because this is really interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay, first up, let's try the router. I've got a D-Link uh, wireless router here. It's a DER 300, pretty standard sort of router. I've set it to 100% uh, output uh, transmit power, and as you can see, it's wireless. I'm actually streaming a YouTube uh, video here on my notebook, so it's all transmitting. I've got a... Uh, Fluke 87.5, uh, as you can see, and let's put it near the antenna and see what happens. Yeah, it's certainly going up, jumping up to 33 millivolts AC, but it's certainly not doing anything unusual. Um, I'll zoom in on that and um, we'll see if you can see it. And yeah, it's not doing anything, you know, there's no weird stuff happening at all. So, uh, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Test passed. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I didn't have the probes attached, so ta-da, I got the probes attached. Here we go. Yeah, it's much higher now, 300 millivolts AC. I mean, you know, that, that figure's just meaningless. It's just picking up anything, but it's certainly not doing anything unusual um, at all. It's not causing any uh, damage to the meter, no weird digits as was uh, as was reported, so there you go, no problems. Now, just before we try the mobile phone, I thought I'd uh, try just a standard cordless phone. It's a Doro, um, don't know the model, but doesn't matter. Let's put it about a foot away, shall we? And I'm going to call it. And it's answering, it's transmitting, okay? It's transmitting and uh, it should, I'm definitely, I've got my mobile phone about a meter away. Um, and there we go. Uh, no problems at all on the, no problems at all with the fluke. You know, it's, it's picking up something, but it's certainly not uh, killing it or doing anything unusual. So, um, a cordless phone, perfectly fine. And now for the big test, a mobile phone. This is a Nokia uh, E71, as you see, and it is um, not 3G at the moment, because I get shit uh, 3G coverage here, but... Okay, I'm going to put it about a foot away, and I'm going to rig it. Let's try it and see what happens. Okay, we're answering and we're talking. So the mobile phone is active, as you can see. Um, I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting full bars on there. But um, as you can see, it's not 3G, okay? It's just standard uh, GSM. But it's actually, we're in the middle of a call, so let's put it near it. Whoa, yes, something's happening here, folks. Something's happening. Watch. Let's see if I can. Get, let's see if we can get this. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, something's going on. See that on the display? I'm definitely recording this. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. So it has to get. Looks like it has to get reasonably close. Looks like it's got to get within, say, six inches before it before it starts to do something. And, whoa, yeah, it's completely neutering it. Look at that, there it is, there it is. Confirmed, it does screw up, but it's not bricking it. 
It's not bricking it. It's it's fully recovering. Whoa. Yeah, it's really really doing some weird stuff, all right. But yeah, it seems the it doesn't seem to do anything on the right-hand side here on the top. Nothing. But on the left-hand side here, definitely. Look at that. Wow. Check it out. Awesome. Yeah, there's something. There's something that's susceptible that causes susceptibility on that left-hand side. Um, in fact, let's leave it in the middle of the call. Okay, we're still on the call. And let's switch it on, shall we? Uh, it just really screws up the display, and that's about it. Okay, I've just got a small collection of meters here. The cheap Vichy BK Precision X-Tech German Gossen Metrowatt and the Fluke 87. And as you can see, we're still uh, calling here. It's exactly the same call. I haven't um, changed it. It's not uh, 3G. It's just standard GSM. And let's put them near these other meters. No problems on the Vichy at all. Let's try the X-Tech. No problems on the X-Tech. No, none. BK Precision. None whatsoever. There's a, yeah, nothing. Gosson Metro Watt. Uh, get that on screen there. Nothing on the Gosson Metro Watt at all. Not a thing, perfect. And our friend the Fluke 87. Ta-da! Oh, look at that! Wow! Wow, that's really... That's really something. It doesn't happen at all on the right-hand side. Not a thing. But left-hand side, within... Yeah, I don't know, a couple of inches. It really starts to play up. Crazy. But we haven't bricked it, so um, yeah, I guess, um, I don't know, I'm just, you know, this EVA hasn't, you know, I'm uh, uh, it just different uh, output power or something like that to the transmit tower or something like that, but yeah, there's definitely a problem with the Fluke 87 with near field um, uh, EM, high energy EM sources like that. And let's just try another transmitter source. This is a little uh, Uniden UHF. Uh, uh, walkie talkie and let's put it right beside it let's put the antenna right there and um, see if we can do it here's the other receiving one and let's transmit check check one two no it's just going up a bit but it doesn't uh, doesn't do anything I'm pressing the press to talk so it's definitely transmitting as you can see there's a little transmit uh, transmit symbol there on the display and Nothing. Nothing at all. So that's okay. That's not not high enough at all. But the mobile phone. There it is. I'm still on the call. The mobile phone really. Whoa! Hang on. Whoa! Look! Look! I killed it. Look! It switched off. The display totally switched off. Ha! Oh. Check it out. My, my call's been disconnected. <laughs> Not sure why, but look. Let's switch it off. No, it re oh, phew. It looks like it's recovered. So, yeah, but it, you saw that. It, it literally locked up the processor enough to not recover at all. Crazy. Let's see if we can reproduce that. It's calling again. Way there, way there we go. Look, straight up, switched off. Straight away that time. Straight away. Yeah, it's come back. It hasn't killed the firmware like it did in poor Kyriakos's <laughs> Fluke 87. But as you can see, I can I can easily picture what happened to his happening to other people's because yeah, look, it switches the damn meter off. That's crazy. Okay, I've called it. We've taken it out of the rubber holster and I've got it on loudspeaker as well. Oi, there we go. Feedback. And it's really, it's really killing the display.
Balls in the lid up. Whoa. Upside down. Check it out. Wow, it really affects it, but we haven't bricked it. There you go. And we're doing the same thing with the Gossam meter. Not a thing. No, nothing. It's a great effect. I love it, but yeah, no, definitely the fluke. The fluke is buggered. Check it out. Woohoo! Fantastic. Okay, let's try another phone. I've got a Nokia 6300 here, not 3G, but um, I'm, I'm on the call at the moment. It's actually transmitted, as you can see, and let's give this a try, shall we? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, boo yeah, look at that. Got him. But it still recovers. And let's just do one more, a Nokia something or other. I don't know the model, but we're on the call. It's actually transmitting, and let's give it a go. Oh, hey, there we go, straight away. Boom, gone. Gone, ski. And we couldn't leave it at that. I had to drive around until I found 3G coverage to get out of the black hole I live in. So, let's give it a go. Okay, I've gone outside. I've found 3G reception. There it is, 3G. And uh, let's try it out. I'm transmitting, of course. Here it is. Ta -da. Oh, look. Check it out, 3G. 3G doesn't do anything. Wow, look at that. So it looks like it's, um, it's specifically um, the GSM frequency. Go figure. No, nothing, nothing at all. 3G doesn't do a thing. And just as a control, I've uh, turned off 3G, so we've just got GSM. Now, standard GSM as we had back in the lab, and let's try it again. So let's just, under control conditions, there it goes. Yep, there we go. So it's definitely, definitely the GSM frequency doing that. Yep. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes, switched off. And it just so happens I have the Fluke 87.5's uh, twin cousin, the Fluke 28 Series 2. Let's give that a go, shall we? Once again, I've got the... Uh, I'm back on GSM again. Okay, let's give it a go. Here we go. Nothing. The Fluke 28 2 doesn't do it, which is an identical, uh, well, you know, it's an upgraded design, but it's essentially identical to the 87.5. Um, no problems at all. No, nothing, not a thing. Not a thing at all, whereas if we bring in the 87.5 again, here we go, there's a comparison, there we go. Boop. Oh, display just goes burko straight away. So the 87.5 is definitely something to this. So there you have it. It's not a myth. The Fluke 87.5 is susceptible to near field EM, high level EM radiation, particularly on this left hand side next to the LCD. It's a real problem that Fluke need to look into. Now, I wasn't able to brick mine like uh, Kyriakos was and he lost his firmware and everything. Um, I wasn't able to do that. I was certainly able to lock it up real easy with a GSM signal. Who would have thought? And I didn't see any effect on any, other, the, any of the other meters I had. So it's particular, and including the Fluke 28, so it's particular to the Fluke 87.5. There's a vulnerability there. Fluke need to look into it. And let's see if uh, Fluke live up to their uh, uh, stand by their lifetime warranty and replace Kyriakos's unit. We'll find out, but don't try that at home with your Fluke 87 kiddies. Leave it to the professionals. See you next time. And if you are going to try this at home, remember kitties, wear protection.